Hello. So in this today's video, we will be talking about uh, non SAP system integration with central finance, uh, as we discussed uh, in few other videos that uh, how non SAP systems work. Uh, and of course, every organization can have uh, SAP or non SAP system in their current landscape. So of course, they may or may not want to integrate, but it depends if they want then how it works. So as a part of process, uh, this is the ninth video and we are uh, moving ahead in the journey. Uh, that's pretty good. And I see there is a very good response from, from the people who are listening the videos. Uh, so thank you so much. So this is the ninth video in the series uh, where we are talking about the only the FAQs. And of course, there will be another series coming in, in which we will be doing step by step configuration of the whole CFIN pictures. Uh, Let's move ahead. So today's uh, for today, the question number one is, can we connect non SAP systems to central finance system? Technically, yes. For example, if you have, uh, you can connect any non SAP system like Oracle, JD Edwards, Barn, depending on what you have, Microsoft Dynamics, Navision, to SAP S4 HANA central finance with SAP standards, SLT delivered content. What it means is, if your current landscape has, uh, for example, ECC, one ECC, you have one Oracle, you have one Navision, and then you want to implement Central Finance, then you need to implement S4HANA. Of course, not full pledge, but yes, uh, install the box, and then activate Central Finance, and then your Navision, Microsoft, uh, Navision, Oracle, and SAP, all can replicate via SLT into S4 system. However, there would be a different way, the way they replicate and the way SAP replicate. So we will discuss uh, more, but yes, there would, they can replicate in, in summary. The answer is yes, it is possible. Yes. Do we need additional systems as middlewares? Uh, very interesting question. So as I mentioned in ECC, you just need having a source as ECC, SLT as transformation and S4 as uh, just a system with the data is a coming as a target system. However, when you have non-SAP, now take an example, you have Oracle system, you have SLT and you have uh, S4 HANA. So what you do? Yes, you need an additional system, maybe data services or uh, business objects, uh, boards uh, to transform the mapping. So it is important to understand why we need. So the way it works is uh, your Oracle system will be sending the data out uh, for the, for the example, accounting document, and those will be coming in very different format. For example, uh, their GL might be 10 digits or uh, that that is still easy, but the, their document type might be something else. There you have a concept of uh, MU and BU. There you don't have a concept of company code. There it is, it is different concept. And for example, tax. So in tax, uh, in SAP, you have A0, A1, or V1, V0, just a two characters, actually. But in, in other source systems, you may have like, uh, in JD Edward, it's like tax 5%, TAX, FIVE, PERCENT. So that tax 5% needs to be converted into V5. How? SLT will not do that. So what do you do is you extract data from Oracle through the data services or boards, you transform that data into standard for SLT format. In SLT format, it's like uh, you convert that 5%, tax 5% into V5. And once you load that into SLT, it works in a standard way. So that for that transformation of the data, which is not matching with the SAP standard accounting uh, fields or the objects, you need to have an additional system. I hope that clears and if you have for sure, you know, if you have any question, feel free to put it. I will explain it further in another video. Any built in solutions available in market? So that's a very interesting question. People and of course, companies search for this. Uh, that is there they have known as SAP system. If there are any standard SAP solution or a built in solution available? Yes, there are solutions available. Magnitude Source Connect. It is an SAP partner uh, in even in SAP promotes this. Sanity also have built a solution. These two solutions I have worked. So others may be available. I don't know. So if you know, please put it in the comment. Even I will learn because I have worked on two solutions. So I always talk about these two. But yes, if you say, okay, one more is available by this company, by this accelerator, for sure, I would love to understand those. So please feel free to add your comment 
and your experience how that tool works what is that tool and if there is any web link or any video i can listen where i can understand what is that all about that would be very informative for me so i would wait for your comments regarding this how slt is managed so of course slt come with the standard content uh, content uh, related to ecc but what you do is to app to make this uh, non sap system activated you implement this node which is mentioned on the screen 2462424 and it is specifically for third party system integration and after this uh, implementation the new staging tables are created and once data load starts in new staging tables moving from slt to s4 hana is a simple standard process so as i mentioned tax 5% we go with the same example is converted into v5 now that v5 will sit in this table maybe accounting document is it a vendor item then it's a creditor if it's a debitor a customer item it's a debtor item and then tax information and then we have one header table exactly it it will post data into bkpf accounting documents it like gl to gl debtors uh, customer invoice vendor invoice and with tax line so it these are the tables standard tables which are given by sap in which you have all the fields available you can so that tax 5% v5 will be put it into as a tax code in these tables and then that these tables will be moving data to bkpf and ac docker table in cfin and the data will move through a uh, standard sap aif interface in aif itself you have accounting documents and you have a accounting document third party uh, you have a interface for non sap systems as well it's, it is given by standard sap so feel free to read this note in this note you will find all the details of the table including if you want to understand what fields each table contains uh, of course you have to understand the usage of the table so you can just download this note and in note itself there is an excel attached in which if you download that excel you will see all the necessary information including the fields and the table design and the table what particular field is used for what is the character limit what is the technical name all that information is given in the excel so this note is very very important any changes needed in source system this is very common question because if i am implementing s4 and i want to do any change in oracle yes it's a very steep question that what should i do yes you need to enable database triggers in source system so that system can send signals to slt and bolton that new document is posted based on which it needs to be replicated so when the new document is posted in oracle how will sap or slt knows slt has to get a trigger and it's same for ecc in ecc what it have does in ecc the st the standard through a standard note we create a trigger table when there is any accounting document created in a bkpf and bsec tables it immediately give trigger to the staging table and from there slt calls the data and post it into cfin similarly we need that similar kind of trigger through in source system so that any new document being posted in source which is oracle microsoft navigation or microsoft devon dynamics or navigation or any other system jd edward that trigger is needed if you implement magnitude yes there is a trigger available by by default they they do certain changes so yes there would be limited change in source system but there would be a small uh, requirement because you have to activate the triggers that's all for today uh so that uh, you and now hope, hope you understand the concept of non sap system integration you will download the note and read the content any questions you have feel free to post it and of course as i mentioned any experience you have please feel free to share with me if you have worked on any other non sap system integration with any other solution available in the market i would like to hear that and uh, as i mentioned uh, video 6 was covered with aif error handling 7 for central payments 8 for mappings and this is video 9 for non sap system integration and then of course i will come with more videos uh, in in the in this series will be coming up more and more and if you see now we have a scan me o qr code you can just scan it through your phone and it will directly take you through your channel so you don't need to remember the channel name just mark it and this code works very well and this is the view of the channel you see lot of views are coming on the on the on the wait videos people are liking it really happy to see that stay tuned subscribe to the channel 
and share the channel with your peers and colleagues and like the videos and share your comments and feedback. Stay safe. Thank you so much.